Hey guys, it is uh, it is one o'clock in the morning. It's one o'clock, isn't it? Twelve forty-five. Twelve forty-five, and we just got here to the room. Here's y'all best friend Atlas. Say hi. Atlas had him a good ride on this little suitcase, and we got Nation right here. But I want to give you guys a room tour. He'll probably fall. Okay, this is the bathroom. This is cute. I can't pronounce the name of the hotel. What's the name of the hotel, man? Cambria. Oh, I'll let y'all know. I'll leave out here. This is the toilet. Then they have this cute shower. The shower is perfect for whenever they come and give me a shower. And I don't know what this little open sign is right here. Yeah, that's the bathroom. And then they have a microwave. They have a little refrigerator, which I need. Couch, pull up bed, which I'm glad I bought um, sheets. So I got some brand new sheets for it. And then on, this is cute how they did this. Let me find it. This. Mm -hmm. And, mm hmm? It is. Okay, let's figure out how we turn on these lights. Um, no, that's so big. Yeah, where's the light? Right here. Okay, so this is outside the bedroom. They have a walk, they have a closet. Yeah. Um, then we have like a window view, which is good. I don't know what I'm gonna be looking at, but yeah. And TV. Then they have the little bench right here. I guess when the lady comes in and give me my massage, I can. She could probably put the little table right here, which is good. It's this room is perfect because there's other like spaces that we can do the massages since I have her coming here to give me massages. It's in my pad, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm in this vlog. Okay, good morning guys. This is today uh, pre-op. So, oh, you would not believe y'all. I have on the same pants from yesterday. I packed everybody something to wear and did not had my own self in my clothes. All I got is um, gowns, pajamas. You see my purse? Um, I'm gonna find my purse because I'm gonna get some. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> okay, y'all. So I am wearing. Your shoes are shoes. So I'm wearing one of my husband's shirts. Let's go. <laughs> and some jogging pants. Some sweatpants that I had on yesterday. Put it on the side of the pocket. 
right up here. Get it Good morning. Okay, so I just did my COVID test and now I'm about to do a urine test. And they're going to test for nicotine, pregnancy, and everything. Alcohol, whatever. I don't know. Whatever. So. Okay, so I am here at um, 305 still. And y'all, let me tell you, these people, I'm in this surgery group, so if you want to know any information about everything that's going on, like far as surgery and what you should do, get into surgery groups on Facebook. I recommend that because that's where you would get all your information from. However, I drove six and a half hours here to Miami just to be canceled. So they told me um, that I have a hernia, so I don't know. I'm not upset about it, but I'm upset because I did all of this. I done paid $7,000 and got canceled. So, and I, and it's like, it's crazy because in my paper, my PC, my PCP said not to mess with my stomach. So I'm like, okay, if you can't bother my stomach, you saying I got a hernia, why are you, um, I mean, like why are you worried about my stomach i'm just really i'm not mad but i'm mad okay because i'm now here outside waiting on my husband to come pick me up and i just drove all the way here spent all of this money on the hotel and i know i can't get my money back from the hotel so 305 is the worst by far the worst so Creepy. You should have been closed these. Oh, shit. Oh, that's good lighting. Look at that. Okay, guys. I am back. I don't remember if I... Um, my face is oily. But I don't remember if I said in my last thought I gotta go back and watch it again because I actually did not get I had got my pre-op today but uh Dr. Sally's assistant um he told me to pull up my shirt and I pulled up my shirt well he told me to stand up like you know I can tell when things are about to go the wrong way because how the conversation starts and almost how it's about to end. Um, so he was just joking with me. How many kids you have? I said six. <gasps> Why? You look so good to have six kids. Da, da, da. Um, all C sections. See? Wow. That right there was a red flag. You know. It is good to tell the truth um, on your medical history. You shouldn't lie. But it just really makes me mad because I just felt like, I feel like he tried to find a reason to cancel me. And so he told me, he said, stand up. I'm going to take a look at you. I said, oh, I'm doing my... So you're going to look at me now? I thought that the doctor was going to come and look at me, you know, tomorrow, the next day. He said, no, I'm going to go ahead and look at you before he sees you. So he tells me to go stand in that corner right there, turn face to me, and just pull up your shirt. So I pulled up my shirt. He said, oh, I'm going to come to you like a sis like a brother. Like a um, a brother. I'm coming to you like that. Not by business. I'm coming to you like that. You have a hernia. I was like, what? I don't have a hernia. You have a hernia. I'm going to get somebody else to come in here. And 
examine you, but I'm gonna speak to her in Spanish. Keep in mind, this is my coordinator. She speaks English. And, um, very, very well. So they started talking in Spanish, which I'm like, I really wish my husband was here because I just feel like I would have got my, I would, all of that wouldn't have happened if my husband was there with me because he speaks Spanish. But anyways, um, so I don't know. He never, he said, well, I'm going to say to you, yeah. say hey, nation. Say hey, Atlas. Hey. <laughs> he got milk everywhere, y'all. You sound lazy. Look at your face. Do you think they want to see you like this? They want to see you like this? Yeah. Do you think they want yeah. no? Yeah. Yeah. He, he said papa. Say papa. Yeah. Say papa. <gasps> papa, you so cute. You got milk everywhere. <laughs> okay. But anyways, um, so I pulled up my shirt and I don't know where I left off at, but I'm a sorry. Let's see if I got something to clean up now. Why are you so nosy? Why are you so nosy? Your bottle right here. Okay. So, anyways, um, I pulled up my shirt and he's like, okay, well, I'm going to get a doctor to come in. Uh, someone to come in here and give me a second opinion about it. He didn't, Keep in mind, he never touched me. He just told me to pull my shirt up. Immediately when I pull my shirt up, you have a hernia. And I'm a, I'm a baby at this, but I know you got a hernia. And I was like, I said, well, that's so weird. Don't let him fall. I said, well, that is so weird because my PC, my PCP, she actually checked my stomach. She checked everything. She made me lay on, she broke. She, let me put him down, y'all, because I'm, my worst fear is him falling off this high behind me. Okay, I'm gonna lay Yeah, so, and I'm like, you know, my, I don't even, I said my PC didn't even, my PCB didn't even tell me that, so, it's so weird. I said, you sure? He's like, I am, I'm coming to you like a brother, okay? I'm not coming to you. Like, you know, because that's not good. It's not good. And I'm like, where? So somebody came in and she, I had laid down. And she was rubbing my stomach, but she was shaking her head no, but she wasn't saying anything. She was just like, no. And then he started saying something to her in Spanish. I'm just so mad because I really wish I would have recorded it, you know? And that way I could have let my I could have let my husband hear exactly what was said. Like keep in mind I do understand Spanish, but it's like the way they speak Spanish, it's really, really fast. I don't know. It was really different, but I understood some stuff, but I was so mad. But I wasn't that upset because you know what well, I'm not losing hope because I know I'm gonna oh, because I know I'm gonna have my surgery this. I'm gonna have it probably Wednesday. So, um, yeah, and so I end up leaving, I end up leaving out, and um, he's like, go get that fix. I said, well, I want to stay here, and I say, well, can I just go get an ultrasound to see if I do have a hernia, because I said, I came here six and a half, I drove six and a half hours away, paid for all, pay all this money for a hotel room for all these days, pay money. Yeah, all of this money and you telling me I can't have my surgery, you know? That's, it's just bull crap because you got people flying from Arizona, New York and all over the world just to come here and be canceled by this one guy, you know? So I'm so mad. So what I said to him, I said, you know what? I said, I'm in a surgery group. I'm in surgery groups in, on Facebook. And 
they are always talking about how y'all just cancel people randomly. Well, just come at 4.30. That's what he said. Come at 4.30. Slap the book down. Just come at 4.30. You can see Dr. Salas. I said, so is he going to be here for me to talk to him? Come at 4.30. I said, okay, I'm going to come at 4.30, but is he going to be here? And I walked out because he didn't answer. So I went in the lobby. It was a lot of people in there. Um, and, you know, it's kind of embarrassing just to get turned down to because I do have a surgery sister and she actually went through with hers and I didn't and I hate it to post, you know, I'm not getting my surgery, but you know what? I rebuke that. I am going to have my surgery before I go back home. And it's going to be successful. Dr. Salas is going to tell me tomorrow you are fine because, you know, I screenshot what this girl said in the group. She said... And I screenshot it because I didn't want her to probably delete it. You know how we do. She said, because I posted, I said, I think they're going to cancel me, y'all. They're trying to cancel me. That's what my my post was on the um, surgery group. And then she said, well, they tried to do me the same way. I said, well, what did they do? What did they say to you? She said, the assistant kept saying, I have a hernia. And I was like, no, I don't. And when... Dr. Salas came in to check me. He had me lay down on my back and was feeling around my navel and said I was good to go. I said, wow, that just give me hope. She said, well, I hope everything goes well, blah, 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 whatever. That just let you know that, you know, I don't know if they're hating on him or just Maybe they're overbooked. No, not fill on the baby. So I don't know if it's overbooked. This video is gonna be just so long. I'ma keep you crazy. I'ma keep you guys posted. Okay, you can't see me. I'ma keep you guys posted tomorrow and let y'all know what's going on. And keep in mind, I don't have no clothes. All I have is those ugly nightgowns that I bought for surgery to wear after surgery and all of the stuff so we actually just went to Walmart and I picked up an outfit because it's the only store open and I, I really didn't feel like going out shopping nowhere here I wasn't feeling that I just want to be walking around with my body done and I'm getting my chin done so I'm gonna try to see my chin now see and yeah, so I'm getting my chin done too. I add, I did add that on. So, good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. You're on to here for all the newbies, and welcome back to and welcome back to the ones that are shining. Um, today is day. Is it day three since we've been here? Or two? Day two that we've been here in Miami, and. So I'm going now to have an ultrasound done on my stomach to see if I have a hernia, which I don't feel like I have a 9.57, that's what time it is. Look at my shoes right now. So it's something on my screen. I, don't, I can't I see something, but I, hold on. All right, here we go. So, um, so I'm headed to now go get, um, have an ultrasound done and, um, then I have an appointment with Dr. Salas at 4.30 and, and it's so crazy because my coordinator, I texted her, um, yesterday and I was like, my, no, okay. I'm not gonna take it away from my coordinator. She has been really, really good, like responding back. You know, I hear a lot of stuff that they don't respond back, even though she don't respond back to probably a day or so later, which is fine because it ain't that. I don't mean it don't be an emergency that I really need her. But <clears throat> anyways, um, I said to her, I said, well, Dr. Williams did. I said I'm in this surgery group, and Dr. Williams did this girl surgery with a hernia, and he just worked around it. So she texted me back this morning 
Oh, well, that's not Dr. Sally. So what I did, I screenshot what these other girls that just had their surgery done from Dr. Sally's. What they said, he did my surgery and he just said he'll work around it. One girl was like, he told me to lay down and he felt my stomach and he said he'll just work around it. So my thing is, if it's one, which I don't really believe there's one, I'm gonna have him to work around it because I didn't come all the way to Miami, six and a half hours away. I have six children. I did. I paid my. Children. I have. My husband has a job, has to work. He took off for work and oh, look at the um alligator or is it an iguana? Where? Right here by our car. Oh, Okay. In front of next to that gray car. Right here. You see in front of the gray car. That's an alligator. That's, That's a baby alligator. Look at him walking. Right there, y'all. Is that an alligator? You see that gray car right there? That's a that's a baby alligator. What the heck, y'all look? It's wet right there. You see Alice? You see it moving? No, look at my. Is that an alligator? Look that's at my a camera. Baby alligator. Look at my camera, Atlas. Come look. I told you that sign said be careful with snakes and alligators. See right there moving in front of that gray car, Atlas. That little car. See, Baby, that's an iguana. Baby, that's an alligator. Look. See, Atlas? I see it over there. I see it right there. That is a baby alligator. That's an iguana, look. Ain't no iguana. Huh? Oh, that is an iguana. Look, Atlas, right there in the road. Look, look. Oh, wow. It's two, three. They're all right there. Yeah. See, we don't see that a lot. We don't see that in um, Georgia. Yeah, so it's like, ooh, wee, wee. yeah. And yeah. yeah. mom, right. we can't get out there. Are you scared? No. Well, yeah. We're not. I wish we can catch one and take it back home. They're wild. So you got to get them when they're small. Come in, nation. Here, let me take it down. You want to get out? Come here, baby. What? Daddy got you locked in. Daddy got you locked in. You say good morning. You say good morning. And y'all, I haven't eaten anything. It's 10 o'clock. Well, we not, nobody have eaten anything. But I'm not going to eat anything until after my appointment. And my appointment is at 430, which I'm going to go. That's for to talk to Dr. Salas, right but I'm just gonna go and after I have this sonogram and everything turns out good, I'm gonna go to Dr. Salas, with it good or bad, I'm still gonna go to him and I'm gonna talk to him. Because I'm like, 4.30, is he still gonna be in the office at 4.30? That's just weird. But we'll see and I'll keep you guys posted. And this is 305 plastic surgery. Okay, I am back here at 305. Uh-oh, sorry. Cool. Okay. And I am now going to, I'm going back to her. I'm going back up to the third floor to Ashley. Meet with the doctor at 4.30. Y'all, I'm so nervous. Like, I'm literally shaking inside, so. Alright, wish me luck, y'all. Okay, I just got clear with Dr. Salas. I actually met him, he was a sweet guy. Um, I even gave him a hug because he cleared me. And what he did is he laid me down on the table and actually felt my belly button and he didn't find a hernia too. And he even told the guy, the assistant that, um, that was not a hernia. So now I'm waiting on my coordinator which is back there in that room right there. She's kind of giving me a hard time. She's pretty good, but she's giving me a hard time. I told her that I was already clear and my surgery is for 10 o'clock in the morning. So I'm just, I guess I'm waiting on my orders. I don't know if she understands that I'm clear. And now she's asking me, so where is the papers for your, um, I'm the papers for my um, 